Be on guard if you're headed up to the castle. King Faharajad's army is camped outside the walls. They claim they're here in a diplomatic capacity, but I'm not buying it. To attack the castle, isn't that obvious? This is the beginning of the end for the Covenant, mark my words. King Faharajad probably planned this all along. Thought that under the banner of peace we'd just let his army march right in. Of course, I wasn't born yesterday. Neither was Dame Follett. She's our commanding officer outside the wall. You should talk to her up at the castle's main gate. Don't like trouble here. These Knights of the Flame, they insult King Faharjad by refusing me entry. I have an urgent message for Duke Nathaniel, and I am a close friend of the Duchess. I cannot understand why the Knights are so stubborn. An armed escort is customary in Alakir. We mean no insult, and certainly no threat. They say we bring an army. An army would be hundreds. This is merely one regiment. If you might convince the Knights to listen to reason, I would be obliged. Damned foreigners. Nothing but trouble around here ever since the Duke married King Faharajad's daughter. And now there's a Red Guard army on our doorstep, expecting the Knights of the Flame to just stand aside? Envoy de Rima marches up with an army claiming she's on a diplomatic mission from King Faharajad of Alakir. She says her message is for Duke Nathaniel alone and demands entry. All I have to say is over my dead body. My mission is clear. No one from the Red Guard camp allowed in the castle. I'm a Knight of the Flame, and I will enforce that directive to my dying breath. Sir Hughes is the head of our order. If you have concerns, speak to him inside the castle. Surely you can see the absurdity of this situation. I hope you will speak with this Sir Hughes or the Duke himself. Please, tell them to let me in. I mean no harm. Ask the Duchess. I always knew them Palingares were up to no good. Well done. Oh, gall and pox! Dame Dabien wanted me to tell the Duke you were coming here! You saved me back in Coglin Village. I'm the messenger, the one in the warehouse. I'm sorry. I got back here and I had to tell my parents and my friends about the slaver attack down at the village. And then it just completely slipped my mind. Not much point in doing it now. I can't believe I forgot to announce you to the Duke. I really am sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Oh yeah! I forgot to deliver the message to the constable in Coglin Village as well. That's actually kind of funny, isn't it? Unless... Are you frustrated with me? I know. You're right. I've never been a very good messenger. I always wanted to be a king, or a duke, or something more important. But here I am. I'm doing my best. Please don't tell anyone about this. I'll do better next time, I promise. You're welcome to Alcair Castle. I'm sure you noticed King Faharajad's army camped outside our walls, so you can understand why Duke Nathaniel is not entertaining guests. I should hope you're not here to add to our troubles. <laughs> don't hear that too often, but it's most welcome. If blood gets spilled here, it could destroy the fragile alliance holding together the Daggerfall Covenant. We need to defuse this situation as quickly as possible. Damn it. Dame Follett is holding the envoy up at the gate, isn't she? Never questioning orders is Follett's strength and her weakness. I'll have to send word to make an exception. Meantime, I actually have a task you'd be well suited for. It's a... sensitive matter. We've intercepted secret messages to King Faharajad from someone inside the castle who goes by the alias of Almondine. 
My hope is that a little research in the library might reveal where this term comes from. Unfortunately, the Duke requires that he personally approve all visitors to the library, and he can't know about this. The library guard, Sir Gregory, perhaps you can persuade him to look the other way, or, failing that, to leave his post. Again, you must keep this quiet. The Duke is already overwhelmed, and hearing about a spy inside the castle might push him over the edge. Get past Sir Gregory and into the library. Find out who Almondine is, and report back to me personally. For better or worse, the Duke defers to me on the matter for now. Nathaniel shares King Emmerich's bloodline, but not his talent for calm under pressure. Of course, the Duke's wife being King Faharajad's daughter doesn't make matters easier. Indeed. Duchess Lakana is one of King Faharajad's youngest daughters. They say he was quite fond of her. She doesn't speak of her father much, but I think those ties run deeper than she lets on. I cannot defy the Duke's orders, not with an army at the gates. You can. One thing that might help, Sir Gregory is insanely jealous of his wife. In his mind, she would be the sheath to every knight's blade. You didn't hear it from me. Tell me you don't come bringing more bad tidings. I've already heard about the slavers on the shore and the cultists in the hills. I don't mean to be rude, but I have enough concerns. It's probably better if you speak to Sir Hughes. I hope you will forgive us for not offering a more friendly welcome. The affairs of the region weigh heavily on my husband's shoulders. There are also concerns about security here in the castle. You really should speak with Sir Hughes. Hold it right there! This is Duke Nathaniel's personal library. No access without his express permission. If it's an emergency, you want the armory, not the library. It's just books in there. Honestly, I don't know why the Duke's so worried about it, but he is. If I let you in, I'd be kicked out of the castle. Probably my wife, too. Hey, that's not very nice! My face is nice, though, isn't it? I don't like being threatened, though. Of course, it's not like anyone would know if you went in there. All right, all right. You can go in, but don't say a word to anyone about this, or I'll lose my job. Remember, not a word. Sometimes a true knight must undertake a mission that requires reading books rather than slaying monsters. Such is what I asked of you. Did you learn anything in the library? I feared as much. We have to proceed carefully now. We don't want to alert the Duchess or King Faharajah to the fact that we know about the secret communications. I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to speak with the Duke about this. The fact that the Duchess is sending secret letters to her father is serious cause for concern. We need to know exactly what they're planning, though. After speaking with King Faharajad's envoy, Duchess Lakana asked to go out and negotiate with the Redguard General herself. Clearly, we can't allow that. But the Duchess is refusing to let the envoy leave to deliver her message. My thoughts exactly. And in so doing, you would win her confidence. You already helped get the envoy through the gates, so Lakana will be inclined to trust you. Go speak with her upstairs. Do whatever you must to learn her plans. Dorima told me you spoke to Sir Hughes about Dame Follett. Thank you. You don't know what a relief it is to have her here. I am an outsider in Alcare Castle, with no one I can fully trust. Sometimes I even wonder if I can trust the Duke. 
because there have been several attempts made on my life, all from someone within these walls. An alicure poison intended for my lips killed one of my tasters just a few days ago. There are many rivals for the throne in Alakir. They despise the Covenant, and they would kill me to destroy it. My father has been trying to identify the assassins. I must speak with General Thoda at the camp outside, but I am forbidden. Because Dorima is the only one in the castle I can fully trust. I need her here, and I fear that if she leaves, they may not permit her to return. Can I trust you? You did intercede on our behalf with Sir Hughes. Very well. But General Thoda will not expect you. You will need to get his attention. It may be difficult, but if you could best some of his warriors, he will want to see you. Thank you. Things are truly desperate when a daughter of King Faharajad must rely on the generosity of a stranger. But I do believe in you. The future of the Covenant and my life depends on you. Rupka, go with you, friend. I cannot believe one of our own is behind the attacks on Duchess Lakana. There must be some other explanation. There has to be. My sword arm has had little practice since coming to Stormhaven. You look like you might make good sport. You think so? Then let's find out. Let us dance, then. Not bad. <laughs> Who is this little pipsqueak walking through our camp? Perhaps I'd turn you into a pincushion? As am I. Watch and see a true warrior in action. Let us dance, then. Well fought. This is a military camp. Not fit for the likes of you. Be on your way, little one. Hmm, nothing would please me more. Let us dance, then. Not bad. Wouldn't have expected such skill at arms from an outsider. But I saw you dueling over there. General Thoda did, too and he would like to speak with you. You will find him through the door. Hmm, you don't look so dangerous. Yet you waltz into my camp and pick fights with my soldiers. Tell me why I should not simply cut off your head where you stand. The princess, she is all right then. That is good. King Faharajad sent me to protect her, but there is little I can do from out here. I do not wish to start a war, but I will if my king orders it. I await new orders even now. Ah, yes, indeed. The poison maker was quite stubborn, but he spoke a name with his dying breath. It means nothing to me, though. He said, follow it. She is. Then she is in the castle. Go, then. Quickly, tell the Kana so that she may be prepared for this wench assassin. I cannot go in, so you must protect her.
is a relief to see you returned. I fear I might have asked too much. Tell me, though, did General Thoda have any new insights into the source of these assassination attempts? What? The Knights of the Flame are sworn to protect me. Why would one try to take my life? I know Dame Follett spoke out against my marriage to the Duke, but I can't imagine how that could motivate her to murder. I hope Dame Follett was acting alone in this. If there is a wider conspiracy, I fear for what that might mean for our future. No, this will not do. To run would be to surrender to this madwoman's hatred. Follett is the one who must pay. Though I don't always agree with him, Sir Hughes is a good man and I trust him. Tell him of Follett's betrayal, he will see justice served. I can't believe my suspicions were so far from the truth. The assassin being a Breton only makes this situation more volatile. Please, tell Sir Hughes and ask him to resolve this matter swiftly. Because it has greater potential for destroying the Daggerfall Covenant. My choice to go to my father for help rather than the Knights of the Flame only made matters worse. I'm sorry for that now. Indeed, but perhaps it would have been better if Sir Hughes had uncovered that truth. No time for regrets, though. We will do this properly now. Let Sir Hughes handle it. It is what's best for the Covenant. The Duchess must be kept safe. I will stay here while you speak with Sir Hughes. I hope he will send additional security to protect her. I trust you've earned the Duchess' confidence by now. That's good. Have you been able to learn why she was conspiring with her father? After the attempt on her life, that makes sense, but why go to her father? The Knights of the Flame are here to protect her. It makes no sense. Why would he send an army here? The assassin's poison came from Alakir. The Duchess said so herself. Dame Follett, are you... are you certain? That's a grave accusation. Of course she was opposed to the marriage. We'll have to question her, but sending a Knight of the Flame to apprehend her might not be wise. I was hoping you might volunteer. That would help avoid a scene. Follett's home is north of the inn. If you'll go there first, I'll get some of my men and come as backup. Don't listen to the lies! In your hearts, you know the Covenant is doomed to fail! Where's Follett? Did she run? I'm sorry to hear that. You did what had to be done, and I suppose her reaction merely proves her guilt. I wish I could say there was no longer cause for concern. Somehow, though, I just don't think that's the case. Something about all this just isn't adding up. Indeed. I would very much like to discuss this with you further, but not inside the castle. My home is past the market. If you'll give me a moment to settle matters here and check on the Duchess, I'll meet you there and we can talk.
Sir Hughes send you to kill me? You're not here to... Oh, merciful Stendar! Lakana! No, she's not safe. Hughes is going to kill her. He's crazy. Something about his dreams. If you don't believe me, check his journal. He was writing all about it. First, though, untie me. I have to get back to the castle and warn Lakana. Gods, they've murdered the Duchess! What's this? She cannot be dead. This cannot be real. I, Lakana. You! You spoke with her, didn't you? What do you know of this? Tell me! Sir Hughes? Was he mad? He was supposed to protect her. How will I explain this to Lakana's father? To his sister? Lakana would never hurt anyone. She was innocent. My beloved wife. I don't understand. Sir Hughes served me for so many years. Loyally. Faithfully. Why would he murder my wife? Dreams? That maniac murdered my wife on the basis of a dream? He will die for this! You must help me find him. He's probably gone to Firebrand Keep. Please, do it for Lakana. Find Hughes and kill him! King Baharajad will be devastated. He'll want someone to answer for this. Sir Hughes decided to let that Red Guard envoy in to speak with the Duke, and the soldiers went back to their camp. So things are quiet here, for now. <laughs> 